Okay, we're going to discuss the reactions of esters. We have number one, hydrolysis. This is the reaction of esters with water and an acid or base catalyst so that it will return or it will be converted back into its original alcohol and carboxylic acid. Okay, so the mechanism here, you have the ester, it undergoes reaction with water, with an with the catalyst. So the alcohol part and acid part of the ester will be separated from each other. And from that, an, a, a bond will be opened for the addition of hydrogen of water going back to the alcohol. So we're going to have this as ROH. And then the hydroxyl part of the water will return to its, to the acid part. So that will go now as carboxylic acid. Okay, so hydrolysis would just be the reaction with water in a particular catalyst to produce its alcohol and acid part. Okay, so mag mag break. Let's have the example hydrolysis of methyl acetate. So the methyl part is the alcohol part and the acetate part is the carboxylic acid part. Okay, so hydrogen will be added to the alcohol part. So we're going to have the methyl alcohol. And the hydroxyl part of the water will be added to the acid part. Hence, we're going to produce acetic acid from the acetate magiging acetic acid, yung methyl magiging methyl alcohol. Okay. Now the second one is saponification. This is a reaction between the ester and a base, which is either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide to produce the carboxylic acid salt and alcohol. So kung kanina sa hydrolysis, ang product natin ay alcohol and carboxylic acid. Sa saponification naman, ang ating product ay alcohol pa din, but this time it is carboxylic acid salt. Okay, the Latin word sapo means soap. So the saponification is eventually the uh, process for making soap okay so for the saponification the esters being used is eventually the fats okay so this is this is actually a ester hydrolysis of fat so the mechanism you still have the ester it has its acid part and its alcohol part. Now upon the reaction with a base, so the hydrogen of the base will now go to the alcohol part, hence we're going to produce the alcohol. And then the sodium or the metal part together with the oxygen of that strong base will be added now to the acid part so we're going to produce the carboxylic acid salt or better known as the carboxylate salt okay so this should undergo this this reaction should proceed upon uh, the presence of water okay so let's have the example Saponification of methyl benzoate. This is the methyl part and this is the benzoate part. Okay, so the methyl, the methyl will have the hydrogen and that will be producing methyl alcohol. 
and then the benzo weight will get the sodium and the oxygen and that would become sodium benzo weight okay so yung pag name natin name first the methyl and then followed by the uh, carboxylic acid part without the IC acid and with the eight however with the AT ATE suffix okay so that would be sodium benzoate so recall lang natin yung pag name dun sa carboxylic acid salts nevertheless saponification is a reaction between the ester and a base such as sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide with the presence of water so that it will be producing carboxylate salt or carboxylic acid salt and an alcohol okay so there are two reactions the hydrolysis in this and the saponification now for the properties of esters okay so in general esters have a pleasant fruity flavor and they are usually used as an artificial flavorings and perfumes okay so these examples of flavorings are isobutyl methanoate so this is the isobutyl part and this is the methanoate part and that would give a raspberry flavor propyl ethanoate this is the propyl and that is the ethanoate and that will give a pear flavor pentyl ethanoate pentyl part has five carbon atoms still ethanoate with two carbon atoms and that will give banana flavor octyl ethanoate for an orange flavor pentyl propanoate okay so pentyl this is the five carbon atom and this is the propanoate with three carbon atoms and that will give an apricot flavor methyl butanoate will give an apple flavor and ethyl butanoate will give a pineapple flavor so as you could see these esters could be used as an artificial flavors and perfumes now numerous esters have also medicinal value including aspirin and oil of wintergreen or this oil of wintergreen is known as a counter irritant okay so the production of aspirin needs a salicylic acid and an acetic acid with the presence of an acidic condition and heat okay so the mechanism here is the hydrogen of the salicylic acid on this hydroxyl group and the hydroxyl part of the acetic acid will bind together to form water with this open bond okay so since open na dito sa may oxygen na to at dito sa carbonyl part na to dito naman kakaroon ng binding so that it will now produce the as the aspirin okay so this is the salicylic acid part so that's the acid part and this is eventually the oh, sorry the salicylic acid part and this is the acetic acid part and that what makes the aspirin okay so an ulitin natin aspirin could be produced from the reaction of salicylic acid and acetic acid now, we all know that aspirin is a drug that has the ability to decrease the pain or that is the analgesic property. When we say antipyretic, it has a property that enables to lower the body temperature and an anti-inflammatory property, meaning it could also reduce any inflammation within the body. So, yun yung aspirin. Now, for the oil of wintergreen, it could be synthesized by the reaction paren of salicylic acid, but this time it is with methanol. So, the mechanism here is, dito naman sa part na ito, hydroxyl and the 
hydrogen will bind together to form water and with that open bond here and this one they will form bond to produce the oil of wintergreen okay so ito ang itong part na ito ng oil of wintergreen ang salicylic acid part and this one is the methanol part now we all know that oil of wintergreen is also called the methyl salicylate ito yung nilalagay natin as skin rubs or liniments or ointment na nilalagay pinapahid-pahid sa mga braso para ma-decrease ang pain or um, pain ng sore muscles. Okay? So those are the properties and important uses of esters.